and Maverick from Yosemite Bark. I'll also be working with Blossom later in this video, but today we're going to teach you how to teach your dog to do trick number three in the dog training tricks and workbook, which is take a bow. So Maverick is 15 years old and he already knows this behavior, so he's going to demonstrate the final behavior. So Mav's Maverick touch, good boy, bow. Good job, Mav. Bow. Yes. Good boy. Bow. Yes. Good job. Bow. Nice job. Maverick, bow. Good job. So Maverick's a little old. Like I said, he's 15. I don't ask too much from him. He's got bad hips, as you can tell by the way he's standing. But you can see what the behavior looks like. So I'm going to put him away, and now I'm going to bring out Blossom, who we practice this a few times, but she by no means is an expert at it, so you should be able to see some of the learning process happen as well. Come on, Maddie, let's go. Okay, we're going to go this way. There you go. Good go. Good boy. Thank you. All right. Are you ready, Blossom? Thank you. So, with Maverick, I captured the behavior because that was something that he offered to. Uh, it was not something that he offered. He, he did it naturally when he got up in the morning. He would stretch and do his, his bow. If you have a dog that offers a play bow, that would be a great time to capture it as well. And remember, capturing is just clicking or marking and saying yes when the dog does the behavior um, that you want them to do without you even asking them to do it. It's just something that they naturally offer. So with Blossom, I had to teach this with a food lure since she doesn't offer this behavior very well. And what you're going to do is you're going to take your food lure, you're going to put it in your dog's nose, and you're going to push back and towards the back paws. And then when those elbows go down, you're going to click and treat. So we're going to take and push. And then I'm clicking right when those elbows hit the ground. So to the nose and push back. Good job. And one more time. Now, we don't want to use a food lure too many times. I just used it four times, so now I'm just going to use my empty hand. Good job, Loss. Thank you. And again with the empty hand. Good job. Very nice, young lady. And empty hand again. Good job. Now she's kind of doing a little duration, so maybe I'll reinforce that if she offers it. Oh, good girl. Good job. Maybe I'll put my feet treats down here so she can hold that position for a little bit. Good job, Loss. Ready? Touch. Good job. Curtsy. Oh, so she lay down. That's not the behavior I'm looking for, so I don't want to click that. Touch. And curtsy. And I click that, so darn it. Got to pay her for it. Just got to watch better. Good job. Good job. I'm going to add my cue now. Curtsy. Good job. Curtsy. Curtsy. Good job. And that's pretty much what the final behavior looks like. So trick number three, work on it. If you have any questions, you can email me at yosemitebark at gmail.com.